Hey, my name's Greg Preuss. I'm a full-time architect, a practicing musician. I was born and raised in Forest Hills in Queens. Um, lived here basically my whole life. And um, right now I'm trying to get this project together called Audio Hills. Audio Hills for me is just basically just a collection of ideas. It doesn't matter who the musicians are in the band, doesn't matter who played one instrument, who was there for the recording that night. It's just a collection of ideas. And for all I know, Audio Hills could be me and a revolving door of musicians. So mastering the audio tracks, honestly, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Like I, like my earlier tracks, what I would put out under Kane White, um, I would really just take all four tracks, record them, guitar, bass, drums, guitar, stack them, put it out, that was it. And like five or seven years, that's like all I would do. For all the people that I guess have followed me in that kind of era, Kind of what they're expecting when they see a song posted by me so i i don't think their standards are very high for when they see me put out a song um but now i'm kind of getting into this new age with audio hills um having all these people record with us because now i'm starting to refine my style a little more and i'm starting to like know what i like and what i don't like instead of just endlessly clicking buttons there like oh maybe this will you know having no idea what buttons do It's not so much as a learning process as Kane White has been for me. I think now that all the components are here, Audio Hills can really be something great. So I think going to architecture school uh, for those five years, um, it kind of put me in touch with a lot of other creative people, not always in the musical sense, but like people that would people that would stay up until five in the morning just so something would look good or sound good. You know, it's not it's not always just like how can I make the most money. It's it's really just I was able to meet a bunch of people that kind of were dedicated to making shit that looked good that moved people that, you know, the arts, they were into the arts. What do I want my Audio Hills fans to know? The nine fans that we have so far, when you're listening to our music, just know that it wasn't always one guy's idea. It's never one guy's idea, you know? The genres change, and that's just who we are. Right now, I think is probably, I mean, I guess I'll let you know when I make it, but I think right now is kind of like the, uh, the best time to kind of come out as a musician. Uh, you have so many platforms now to put your shit out on. You got YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, Bandcamp, the other side of the coin. It's so easy to get your shit out there that you can have, you know, Joe Schmo down the block play a fucking, do that for 10, 10 hours straight. And if the right person hears it, that guy gets famous, you know? That's kind of what's, it's tough, you know? You don't, you don't have to be, I guess, as talented as you used to have to be back in the day to get famous and really get out there, which is, it's kind of disheartening. Like when you see people out there that you think you're better than, um, I'm sure everybody does that in whatever field they're in. Um, but it's, I think though, all the, the outlets people have to put their shit out is definitely good for the industry. If there's anything that I want people to realize when they're listening to my music or just any music, is that 
the songwriting process is never over. It's, you know, for every track that you hear, um, there was a million ways that we played it, or like a million ways that we wish we could have played it once we put it out there. Um, and I, I kind of want people to start looking at songs as more of a process than a finished product.